Hi. I'm uh, Brandon Shibley, CTO of Tordex, and uh, we're here in our Seattle office. Um, this is where we have our innovation group. And at Tordex, um, innovation is about trying new ideas, things that um, we think uh, there are opportunities or gaps in the marketplace. And uh, this is an opportunity for Tordex to uh, go and try and create innovative solutions uh, around our core business, uh, which is system on modules, um, embedded computing products uh, that our customers use to embed into their um, you know, in products, things like medical devices or industrial equipment, um, automotive um, applications and things like that. So um, at, in our innovation group, uh, we've created some various proof of concepts and we've shared them, uh, at least the ones that we've um, brought out publicly on our Toradex Labs website. And this is a place where um, people can try out these proof of concepts. Um, and there's no guarantee that we would uh, support these things long term, but they're projects that uh, we're looking for feedback on and to get, um, you know, uh, a sense if, um, you know, our customers and, and other people in the market think there would be um, some potential uh, interest in, in the technology. So uh, that's at Toradex uh, Labs. And one of the big things we're doing at, um, at Toradex is working on a platform called Horizon. And it's um, kind of a Linux-based platform for our products. Uh, the, the OS itself, built with the Octo project, is a Linux operating system that runs on our embedded products. And um, it's called Horizon Core. And it has a Docker engine on there. So the idea is customers will deploy their applications as containers on top of a um, uh, common operating system, Tryzen Core, which is doesn't need to be uh, custom built and fully tailored to an end application. A lot of our customers can focus their energy on building uh, their application within a container, uh, decoupled from the operating system. Because Linux is the most popular system for this kind of stuff, but it's not that easy to use. So you're trying to make it easier? Exactly, and, and, and especially in the embedded environment, Linux is uh, particularly challenging. Um, there are very good frameworks like the Octo Project for building uh, very customized and optimized um, builds for a particular application. But, um, you know, it is challenging and requires a fair bit of expertise for, for our customers to do that. So many of our customers are doing that today, and we continue to support them in that effort. But for those customers who um, are not so skilled or don't have the expertise with these tools, we're providing a more uh, user-friendly experience with uh, Horizon. So it's kind of turning uh, Linux into what kind of Android it's supposed to, uh, is or something like that? Or well, like it's a, a bit of a different focus, right? And, but they have achieved, I mean, we're, we're kind of going in a similar direction in the case of isolating applications from each other and from the operating system. This is also, uh, has been achieved with Android as well using the Java uh, virtual machine. We do it with Linux containers and we still do it in a more embedded focused manner, you know, in a more resource efficient way. Um, and so that's what we're doing with Horizon. Um, around Horizon Core, we're providing other tools, other services. And um, one of those services is our over the air update uh, service, which we've launched with um, on Toradex Labs. It's a proof of concept that we just released. Um, and although we have partners providing similar solutions, uh, partners such as Foundries.io with their uh, Foundries factory, um, also uh, companies like Mender providing an OTA solution, Toradex wanted to provide a proof of concept that we could um, show to customers that would be um, you know, really usable out of the box and give our um, customers some confidence that there are a variety of different OTA solutions compatible with um, you know, Horizon Core. And so- It's um, crucial for security, you wanna provide updates, right? Exactly, so as uh, systems become more connected, uh, particularly on the internet, it's, it's a mandatory that they're being updated on a regular basis. Um, but, uh, you know, even those systems that were previously not connected to the internet, they've always needed updates, you know, things, uh, software almost always intrinsically has bugs that need to be fixed. 
Um, and so traditionally, many customers uh, have a more um, hands-on manual method of updating systems in the field. Um, but of course, that's generally not very efficient to, um, to go to each device that's deployed with a USB stick and uh, run updates in that way. So providing um, update functionality as a service is uh, generally a much more efficient way to update devices, um, particularly among a large fleet of devices. So this is a solution that can be up, run in the cloud as we're providing it on Toradex Labs, but it also can be run on-prem. Um, and so anyways, this is a proof of concept. It's an experimental offering from Toradex. And uh, over here we have uh, Ben Clouser who can really dive into the details as the architect of the system. Yeah, so as Brandon mentioned, uh, we're kind of showing off our OTA front end and solution. So we just launched this publicly yesterday. So you can go to app.torizon.io right now. Uh, you'll get a dashboard that looks a little bit like this. Um, and what we're currently offering is all of Toradex's nightly builds for Torizon Core. Um, you know, for our IMAX 8s, IMAX 6s, IMAX 7s, uh, you can install these all as updates on your devices. Uh, I currently have a list of devices a fair amount, um, and I can actually demonstrate what it looks like to do a fleet update. So what about each of these? Yeah, so each one of these is a module that I've provisioned into my OTA system, so you won't see all these, these are just my devices, but as you provision your devices, they'll show up in your system like this. Um, the little green bubble means it's online, uh, and so I've got two fleets. I've got uh, the IMAX 6s and IMAX 8s. So these, this two, these are the IMAX 8s, and then those over there are the uh, IMAX 6. So one of the things about the OTA framework that we're using is it's it's pretty robust. So we can actually push an update, and during the update, we can pull the power to the IMAX 6, and it will sustain. It won't won't break the device, which is somewhat unusual uh, for an update solution. So let's go ahead and just. Let's just do that. Um, so if I push an update, and then these are the, the terminal logs, which is not super exciting to look at, but they're there. What's, what's happening Yeah, here? so this is the, the IMAX 6, so we're actually launching the logs of Actualizer itself. See, so it's, it's got new updates, and if we just go ahead and yank the, the power, you know, I mean, again, it's not the most exciting thing to watch, but then it, it'll boot back up, and when it comes back up, the, the actualizer is the application that looks at the server and determines if there is an update that it needs to download. So when this boots back up, uh, it will look at the server and decide, like, oh, I have a new update that I need to go and pull down. So yeah, just demonstrating that it doesn't completely brick uh, when you pull the power mid-update, mid, mid uh, update, which is good for smaller devices, maybe in an area where you don't have stable power. Uh, that's handy. Uh, and then I can also push a, an update to the IMX 8 fleet. I won't pull the power on that one, but I'll push an update. So you call this the, the Toradex OTA? Yeah, it's Horizon Toradex OTA. Uh, that's what we're calling it so far. Uh, and again, this is still experimental, so it's pretty early. But you can, you can go and you can provision devices. There's a limit on 20 devices per user, but if you really want to provision more devices, I'm sure we could, we could uh, work that out. Uh, and more or less, that's that's it. That's OTA. Uh, I could drill more into the details, but I think it's funner if you go online and dig into it yourself and play around. So, what does it mean, uh, experimental? Uh, what does that mean? Because it's it's like a kind of like a beta or alpha. Yeah, I mean, early? And, and more to kind of what Brandon said. I mean, the part of Tordex Labs is we're putting stuff out in a more experimental state. It's not a polished product. We want to get feedback and decide if it's something that we want to move forward on as a company. So we want to see if this is something our customers would be interested in using, uh, if it has any value to them. And also just get feedback in general for the product. What things might our customers really want in you know, an OTA update solution? Uh, and maybe some things that they don't care about that you know, we would spend more time on. All right. And uh, do you, um, so that means it's just about kind of like releasing now? This this being this is out now. You can out go now. On, online right now and, and use it. You'll have customers that will start to try yeah, it out. Yeah, we've already got a few who are provisioning devices and trying it out, pushing updates. And you know, if you're also developing on Horizon Core, or really interested in developing on Horizon Core, it's a good way to test out our latest builds. You can get our latest BSP updates. We're literally pushing our nightlies, so you can test those out. Um, it's it's a handy way to update that as well. Can you, can you say some more about the Horizon? Um, is it? Uh, a totally new way of doing embedded Linux? Uh, to me, it, yes. Uh, yeah? Previously, you know, it, it was much more, you build your Linux, uh, you put it on a device, you flash it directly, and, and you flash it completely as one big block. 
and you definitely didn't use Docker. It was much more custom tailored C++ applications, low level, these kinds of things. Uh, so doing containers, yeah, is certainly a new way of thinking. Uh, but it's it, it works quite good, it, uh, much better than I had expected. <laughs> Con it's the containerization stuff. Yeah, yeah, putting your application in a container, running it on your device. Uh, there's really not too much of a performance hit, which I had expected there would be. Uh, so that's that's quite nice. And as well as you know, integrating with graphics and integrating with hardware on the device, that also is is not too bad to do on a container as well. Does it have to do with virtualization? Uh, the, the container, or how how does it? Uh does it give native performance like uh, uh, other ways of doing in Linux? Linux? Uh, it, it's pretty close to native. I mean, you have some overhead in the, the memory constraints. There are the additional memory that you need to run the physical container. But as far as performance-wise, it's, it's like, it's really close. And uh, how's the challenge of, uh, of, of updating that, those, con those parts? Uh, so updating containers is we're currently using the existing facilities that Docker has. So you can just run a Docker pull uh, and update your container that way. We do in the future plan to offer you know, a Toradex uh, registry of containers that you can pull directly from us uh, without having to pull from you know, something like Docker Hub or have your containers public. All right, so uh, exciting times right now, no? Yeah, yeah, it's really cool, really fun, uh, exciting. And again, go check it out. It's totally available.